Warning, this video will contain spoilers for both the game Undertale and the fan game TS Underswap. If you don't want to be spoiled in this video, I will leave links in the description of this video to both of these ones that I made. Also, sorry if I sound like I'm dying in this video. I'm still a little sick with COVID at the moment, so excuse me if I die sometime. <sighs> Four to five years. Time really flies by when you're waiting for something big in your community to happen. That exact thing happened with the topic of today's video, TS Underswap. So what is team TS Underswap? It's a game based on creator Toby Fox's highly rated and well-selling indie game Undertale, and to some extent his latest game Deltarune, still in development might I add, made by Team Switch. TS Underswap's demo is a game a lot of people were looking forward to before its release happened extremely late 2020, and honestly, I was the same. TS Underswap is still one of the most revered AUs in the Undertale community. I mean, a lot of people I know care about the game or were the A were the AU even to this day. But a lot of people do, and honestly, it's amazing how many people worked on this game. How many re rewrites it went through throughout the years, and just little bits and pieces fixed here and there to make it a more enjoyable experience to fans. And the amount of hate and controversy this AU slash fan game has received over the years is pretty sad when you think about it, and trust me, I was one of them, don't fucking judge me. And it was really a shame, and it's really a shame because the demo was really astounding. But enough about that, I think it's time to dive in into what makes TS Underswap a good Until fan game, possibly the best Until fan game at the moment. So the story of TS Underswap is still, is pretty similar to Vanilla Undertale. The war between humans and monsters broke out, monsters get sealed under a mountain, you fall down into said mountain, and your journey begins within. Now if you know Undertale like I do, or at least I think I do, <laughs> you know the story goes much, much deeper than just that. And you still can still see little bits of that within the game, but due to, t due to the TS Underswap demo trying to be somewhat larger than the OG Undertale demo, I don't think they should have focused on it at all because I think it would kill the pace of the demo. But luckily they didn't focus on it entirely so yay. Speaking of the pace, it's incredibly well put together. The beginning has the normal Undertale flavor that everyone should know and love with some new additions to make it feel, well, fresh. And the ending and middle part of the demo is almost completely new with some optional side quests in the city of old and characters new and old are updated with new sprites and attacks. So in conclusion, I think the story is pretty good despite there not being much of it at the moment, but again, adding too much story this early on would make it feel, mu feel muddled and out of place. But hey, that's just me. Okay, so gameplay. Gameplay is pretty much the same as normal Undertale's kill or spare, fight or mercy, bullet hell style. But there's one new addition to your arsenal that's pretty useful in my opinion. When you hold down X and you slow your movement down, you can slow your movement down so you can maneuver your way through tight attack power. Or to position yourself in a good position so you can more move more quickly afterwards. And they convey this mechanic pretty well in the Ruins Knights battle. Their attacks are much are pretty close quarters, are pretty close quarters. So you need to use a speed down mechanic at the right time to avoid taking damage. Besides, that's pretty much besides that, that's pretty much the same. Like I saw no difference in soul physics and the way you handle enemies at all. And I honestly think that's a good thing. This game is trying to be sort of a brother to Undertale, if you know what I mean. And I think not changing the gameplay in any way is a bold, but sensible move. In conclusion, the gotten fat's still fun here, unless you're not doing genocide, and the slowdown mechanic is still a great way to give players a good alternative to the other soul fakes this, this demo does not include. Yeah, no, sad, isn't it? Integrity, where are you, man? The art self, TS Underslob, is is much more fluid and solid than the misshapen sprites of the characters from Undertale. And yes, I do agree that Undertale's sprite style is pretty charming and fits the theme of the characters itself, and I've seen some great things from people that use this particular style for Undertale characters, but there's no denying that TS Underswap's art style is much more detailed, character sprites and animations, and just better expressions overall. It also has, it's also very vibrant in its color choices, without being too bright or hurtful to the eyes. And as an artist myself, I have to say this style rocks and is completely separate from Undertale. So, in conclusion, I think TS Underswap is a great return to form for Undertale fan games. Most Undertale fan games I see, at least, are either cancelled or have the most toxic community ever. Or 
have ju just had both at the same time. I'm looking at you, Dust Trust. But yeah, under these under swap is, is great, and I totally recommend it and Undertale at the same time because both are made by brilliant minds and creators and have some the best stories and characters you will ever find in RPG where nobody has to die.